Boston College has the opportunity to kick off the Bill O'Brien era with something special on Monday night. You are Locked On Boston College, your daily podcast on the Boston College Eagles. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Locked On Boston College, your team every day. This is your host, AJ Black. I'm also the editor and publisher of Eagle Insider, part of the 247 Network. Today's episode is brought to you by 5-Hour Energy. 5-Hour Energy fixes tired fast with zero sugar and a convenient portable size. It's a perfect pick-me-up for getting stuff done. Go to 5-HourEnergy.com and use code LOCKEDONCFB to receive $20, 20% off your order. This offer is valid until September 30th on one order and cannot be used with other promotions. Go to 5-HourEnergy.com today. It is now game day. We have waited months to see what Bill O'Brien can do. And on today's show, we're going to get ready for that Florida State game tonight. I'm going to talk about Thomas Castellanos, what he's going to do, what Bill O'Brien needs to show here in Tallahassee, and what can BC do to win this game. I know a lot of Boston College folks are very excited about this upcoming matchup. We'll get into that tonight. Before we get into the meat of the football talk, I want to just let you know, I discussed in depth the Johnny Gaudreau and Maddie Gaudreau passing and that whole situation and my memory of the of the two hockey players on an episode that I released on Sunday night. It's in your feed. It should be in your um, your podcast feed as well. Please make sure you go check that out. It's just it's a it's a special bonus episode and my thoughts on uh, those two incredible uh, individuals in, the, in a tragic situation. But all right, we're going to talk about football in this episode though. Now, Thomas Castellanos. This is a chance for Thomas Tommy. I'm going to go by Tommy now because. Every press conference I've gone to, everyone calls him Tommy except for me. So I got to start calling him Tommy. Well, Tommy, this is a chance for him to take that next step. We saw last year in 2023 a quarterback who jumped onto the scene with some incredible electric plays. We can go back to the first game he played against Northern Illinois when it was third and forever, and he ran about 30 yards backwards and still got a first down pass. You can find the plays against SMU. You know, Georgia Tech, he had his moments last year. But between all of that, there was inconsistency. There was injuries. And there was his need to do everything with his legs. While his legs were great to get you seven wins, you had to feel that if he could have thrown the ball a little bit more and kept himself healthy, there was more wins that were left on the table. Now Castellanos has the opportunity to work with a coaching staff that is tailor-made to producing elite college quarterbacks that can translate into the NFL. Now, well, I'm not even going to get into whether Castellanos can be an NFL quarterback or not. The point of this is this is his chance now to build off of what he did last year. You know, watching the game against Florida State last year, You go back and you watch what Castellanos did to start that game off. He hits that pass to Lewis Bond. And immediately you feel like BC's going to be in this game. Now, Florida State started to to run away with that until BC scored 19 unanswered points at the end. And, you know, they lost because of penalties. But Castellanos showed you that he can take that next step. This is going to be an incredible challenge for Castellanos. Because he's not playing in Chestnut Hill this week. He's playing in Doak. Doak Stadium is a different beast. Now, I saw something. I don't know if they're doing. um, It sounds like they're doing construction there. They're only down to 55,000, which is, what, like 8,000 more than than alumni. So it's not going to be like this crazy, like super crazy atmosphere. Like if you're playing at like, you know, Death Valley, Clemson, or even like Blacksburg on a Friday night. So there's a chance here that he could do something special. Last week against Georgia Tech in week zero, Florida State struggled against the the run. We don't need to see Castellanos go out there and throw for 250 yards. He th- I think he had 400 yards comp- total against Florida State last year. I honestly believe for Castellanos to have a successful game against the Knowles this year, 
the biggest indicator for me is limiting mistakes. That's going to be the key for him in this game. Can he prevent himself from throwing those, you know, what the hell interceptions that he threw a few times last, many times last year? If he can get the, keep the ball in BC's hands, prevent costly turnovers. There's no reason BC can't hang in this game. Unless their defense is, is, is worse than I expect them to be. Castellanos, honestly, this is the perfect game, if he can do it, to run a lot. Because Haynes King ran all in that, in Georgia Tech's running game, ran all over Florida State. If the reason that happened was that Georgia Tech's offensive line was blowing Florida State's defensive line off the ball every single snap. If BC's offensive line gets that kind of push, and who knows if they will or not, but if they can, don't force the, the ball through the air. Hold on to the ball. Run it. Take long drives that keep Florida State off the field. Don't let DJU figure out whatever he was doing wrong last week. And, you know, make them stop you. Florida State last week showed that they can't stop the run. BC has a number of weapons, including Castellanos, that could keep the drives running. But it's going to be based off of mistakes. And we'll talk about team mistakes in a moment. But what I'm thinking here is if Castellanos, if he can play a clean game, that's going to be a big factor. Bill O'Brien says that since he's been there, Castellanos took has taken a 180. Part of me goes, is that just coach speak? You know, sometimes coaches just want to, like, make their quarterbacks feel good. They want to make them feel like they're special and whatever. Bill O'Brien doesn't strike me as a guy that is out there to sugarcoat anything. If you've watched any of his press conference, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. That's not his style. So if Castellanos wasn't really improving, I think we would know it. <laughs> I don't know how we would know it, but I can tell you from being at practice, I have never, I've seen him chew out many players and he does it. And it's not like inappropriate chewing out, but I've seen him like yell at guys for missing things. Never have I seen him do it to Castellanos. And I think that's a reason we're going to see him improve. So if you're out there thinking Boston college is going to pull a, a huge upset up on, on Monday and, and force Florida state to go. zero and two. Thomas Castellanos' play is going to be a major factor. You know, we've talked about his his hopeful improvement for six months now, seven months, eighth months, whatever it's been. This is going to be his first opportunity to show it. I'm expecting a good game out of him. I am. Expectations for me for Castellanos are going to be high. But there's a part of me that hopes that there's not going to be those mistakes. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. In a moment. Another guy, we're going to talk about Bill O'Brien. This is his chance to do something. And I'm going to explain one big factor that he's going to change from last year. And I'll get into that in just a moment. Are you tired after lunch? You're not alone. In fact, research shows that more than 70% of us hit the wall after lunch. Let a five-hour energy shot help you leap over that wall instead of crashing into it. With zero sugar and a convenient, convenient portable size, <clears throat> it's a perfect pick-me-up for getting stuff done. They got many great flavors, including watermelon, tropical burst, grape berry, and more. There's a flavor for everyone. You got to try them all. On the site, you even have the option to build your own 12 or 24-pack. You choose the flavors, and it's delivered right to your door. So if you go to 5hourenergy.com, that is the number 5 hourenergy.com and get some five hour energy product today. You can use my promo code locked on CFB to receive 20% off your order. This offer is only valid until September 30th on one order and cannot be used with other promotions. The code is not good on subscription orders. Go to five hourenergy.com today. Locked on Boston College, AJ Black here. And I want to recommend you guys join my Eagle in my. Sorry, my Locked On BC Eagles Nest. 
It's my uh, subtext, which is a text-based service. I send text directly to you. There's many members out there that are listening to the show right now that can, can testify. Um, I talk directly to you. So if you have a question or a comment, you know, I'm up there and I'm going to be doing a lot of it during the game. So if you are not a member, sign up today. I've got a few more promo codes that'll get you free, free a subscription for the next four months. Get in there right now. D- details are in the, are in the um, show notes. So we talked about Todd Castellanos. We've been talking a lot about Tommy. But the other man that we've talked a lot about here on the show is Bill O'Brien. <clears throat> you know, it was late. It was March when he t- late February, early March. He takes over for Boston College after Jeff Halfley leaves for the NFL. And ever since he's taken over, he has instilled discipline and attention to detail that I think is going to be a welcome change for Boston College fans. Last year's Florida State game, if you were going to tell me what's the epitome of a Jeff Halfley Uh, tenure at BC, you can pick a bunch of different games. But in this moment right now, I look at that Florida State game and say to myself, that was the epitome. Because Boston College, by all accounts, should have won that game. But they killed themselves with penalties. They let a very beatable Florida State team in that game stay around and take a lead and then put them away at the end with penalties. And then game ends with a stupid face masking penalty. 18 penalties. A Boston College school high. You best believe that Bill O'Brien is not going to let that happen. Watching him at practice when there's mistakes like that, it's like, it's like the wrath of God comes down. You hear his voice booming, telling, you know, expressing how that is not acceptable. And then to hear after the practice, you've heard it over and over again. I think it was Lewis Bond at this week's press conference that said, We, you know, he came in and he's been talking about that 18 penalties. He is adamant that that's not going to happen. So on Monday night, one thing that I think is going to re- very clearly, I know it's not, it's going to happen. This is going to be a lot less penalties. It's got to be right. You can't, you can't play any game and have 18 penalties. You could play against UConn and have 18 penalties. You're going to lose. He's going to be much more. He's going to have this team much more ready to battle than Jeff Halfley did. He's going to have this team much more disciplined, knowing what they need to do. These are all things I've heard from players during, you know, press conferences. Listen, the players, like from all accounts, I can tell, liked Halfley. But you hear them, listen to some of the things that they say. You have guys saying, like, it was like KP Price earlier that was saying, like, now I know exactly what I need to do when I need to do it. You hear other guys saying that, you know, the attention to details the coaches have, the perfectionism is much different than last year. They're careful to keep, you know, they don't want to bash their old coach, and I get that. But you can hear it in what they're saying, that this new staff is going to have this team prepared and that mistakes are going to be fewer and far between. Bill O'Brien is is that old school coach. He's a guy that is, you know, he, he he's tough love, and that's what you need. I thought Halfley was, you know, a nice guy. You know, obviously, Steve Adazio hated my guts. Halfley, I, I had a good conversation, good conversations with. But I don't need a, a head coach to be my best friend. I want a coach to lead Boston College that demands excellence, that the players respect, that players are almost afraid to fail their coach because they want to do the best they can. And I get that sense with O'Brien. This is a coach that has done everything everywhere. And yeah, you get Alabama fans going, oh yeah, he wasted years of Bryce Young. Bryce Young put up 41 points a game. How did he waste that? I think he got a bum rap there. He, he had Houston in the playoffs constantly. He took the Penn State situation and he made them into a winning program. 
there's no reason to say he can't do this at BC. From what I've watched, I've been impressed with what I've seen. Like the, the turnaround this defense is going to make, I think is going to be impressive. What we're hoping to see out of Castellanos, Castellanos spends hours before practice with O'Brien and, and Will Long and, and the staff. We've heard all, you know Bill O'Brien talk about that. This is going to be a very different feel for this team. You know, I I cannot wait to see what O'Brien does. And I and I caveat with the, with that being said that on Friday's episode, Mitch and I both picked Florida State to win, and I'm not backing down from that. I still feel like they're going to win, but I imagine this is going to be a competitive game. This is not going to be a blowout, and I don't expect a lot of blowouts on this in this season. And I expect this team to be better now. Watching like some of these other teams over this last weekend, I think BC's got a better chance to do better than what I said. I said they were going to be seven and five. There's no reason that if they play the way that they that Bill O'Brien wants them to play, they could be better than that. But it all starts on Monday night. It all starts tonight against Florida State. What what shape is this team going to come out against a Florida State team that's going to be angry as heck from what happened the week before? Can BC, you know, st- uh, weather that storm and, and move on, or are they going to get swept up by it? I think they're going to weather that storm well, but we'll have to wait and see. And in our final segment, I still say that BC is going to lose, but what can they do to win this game? I'll get into that in our final segment. Hey, Locked On Boston College fans, I want to take a moment to give you a heads up on a brand new mobile game that I think you're going to love as much as I do, Ultimate College Football HC. In this amazing game and simulation, you get to step into the shoes of a head coach and lead your college football program to glory. Can you imagine actually being the head coach of Boston College? From the recruiting players and hiring coaching staff to overseeing training camps and handling school scholarships, you control every crucial detail of your program. It's all in your hand. Will you be able to handle the pressure? And here's what I really love about this game. You are responsible for calling offensive plays during the games. Your strategy will not only determine the success of your football season, but will shape the future and legacy of your program. Ultimate College Football HC is completely free, has no ads, and is 100% playable offline. You can play on the go and, and as you want when you want to. And of course, we have a special offer for Locked On Boston College fans. Use the promo code Locked On. CFB all caps inside the game store to receive a free boost to your program. Make sure to take advantage of this perk as it will get your team off to a strong start. To download the game, just visit ultimate-cfb.com or look it up on the app store, Ultimate College Football HC. Begin your coaching legacy today. This is Locked On Boston College AJ Black. And when you're done with this episode, all my first listeners, all of you who have made Locked On BC your first listen every day, Go check out for your second look at listen locked on ACC with Alex Dono and Kenton Gibbs. I think you'll enjoy it. They have a very different view of Boston College, but give them a chance. See what you think. So 15 point underdogs, 15 and a half under point underdogs last time I checked on FanDuel. Boston College is not getting a lot of respect going into this game, but there's folks out there that really do believe that Boston College can hang in this game. So what do they need to do? What does Boston College need to do? if they're going to pull off this upset. Well, the first thing they're going to have to do is what I've said in segment one and two. Limit mistakes from Castellanos and limit mistakes from the team. If BC goes out there and allows Florida State to drag on um, drives with penalties, they're going to lose. If they allow Thomas Castellanos to make penalty like um, interceptions or, or turns the ball over, they're definitely going to lose. Those are two big things. You can't you have to play a clean game. When you play at Doak on a on a night game, Labor Day weekend, it's going to be rocking. You have to be able to to limit those mistakes, but you also have to cause some mistakes. DJU is obviously not a super hero type player. He makes mistakes. He is not the five star that he came out of high school looking like, right? So. Now that he's with FSU, we saw last week he was doing a lot of smaller passes. Mike Norvell said all along that he's going to be throwing it deeper this week. Florida State's going to have some athletes back there. you got to be able to have your secondary play well. Max Tucker and Amari Jackson are going to have to have some big games in this game. Don't let up big plays. Make them 
try to drag this game. You know, make it make it sloppy. Don't let them. If it turns into a sprint, will it'll turn back into was it 2022 when we're in uh, at Florida State and they just it was a track meet. You don't want that. You're also going to need um, to get the f- defense off the field. And so the defense, the defense that we're hoping takes a big step. Mitch, Mitch is much more uh, bullish on this. Um, I think they're going to definitely do it. He thinks that maybe there's a chance it won't. If they can make some plays, that could be that could be big. So those are some big factors. Penalties. You need to have sustained drives, and you need your defense to get off the field and make some plays themselves and limit those explosives. That's what Boston College needs to do. And that seems simple, but we haven't seen Bill O'Brien with the BC Eagles yet, so we don't know what they're going to do, right? So, you know, when you're asking me, like, who's the X factor on offense? For me, I'm looking at Treshawn Ward. Uh, Short passes, and I think a speedier back in in terms of um, what they can do more than what Kai Robichaux can do will be more of an impact against a Florida State type team. And you know he's going to be aching to play against his old teammates. On the defensive side of the ball, my X factor is going to be Donovan Azareku. This is the best talented, the most talented defensive player they have with the biggest upside. If he can have a big game, watch out. If he can take it to that Florida State offensive line, which looked pretty weak last week, maybe BC can make some plays like they did against SMU. That's my guy right there. This is AJ Black. I'm going to be back again tonight on Locked On Boston to give you a post game. So if you have not already, subscribe to Locked On Boston. It has Red Sox, Bruins, Celtics, Patriots, and Boston College. And I'll be on there doing a post game show tonight after the game. It'll be right after the press conferences. I have to go to the press conferences to make sure that I get all my stuff from there. Right after that, I will go live. So it'll probably be about a half hour after the game. Make sure to find me at Locked On BC and wherever you get your podcast as well. Follow me on Twitter at AJBlack247. And I'll see you again for another episode of Locked On Boston College, your team every day.